Monday morning thinking about purchasing some new shoes. So this is on eastbay.com that I tell you guys all the time. Um, and here's the Nike Influx. So these are the ones I've got right now. Um, they're pretty worn out though, so I'm thinking about getting a new pair. Um, I might get a pair of those again, um, and I might just buy two pairs. I also like this pair here. I think that's a pretty cool pair. Um, so what are those Nike takedowns? Um, so just thinking about that. Uh, those, those ones there are pretty nice also. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to check it out, go to eastbay, eastbay.com. I haven't told you guys this yet, but I'm coming to Ireland in the, in the second weekend of March. So it's going to be the week after the Arnold Champs. I'm doing two seminars, one in Limerick on the Saturday, and then one on Sunday in Dublin. I think the first seminar is already sold out. So I'll, I'll give you guys some more information on that on next video. Uh, sorry, the next video, which is going to be released on either Saturday or Sunday this week. So stay tuned for that. What's up guys, welcome to another video. This is week four again. I mean, these weeks are just going by very, very fast. Um, I can't believe we're almost halfway through, this, through the cycle, through the peaking cycle that is, uh, for all those steroid jokes out there. Um, so this is bench and a squat day, just accessory stuff. Um, so this was 150 kgs um, for five sets of six um, with a bit of a pause on the one board. Now I actually got this set here wrong, you notice there's a collar on this side, there was no collar on the other side so I could actually feel it when I was doing it but I just decided to carry on and actually just finished finish with a set of 10 here, I um, was feeling really good. Now they're getting some questions about what shoes I wear, so these shoes here, they're Nikes, no sorry they're Adidas 2.0s and I wear them for high bar, squats, front squats and bench press only. Now to show this clip here, just this was us on Monday. We we train with uh well I train with Josh Hancock and Steve generally every Monday. Um, a great little group we've got going there. We do we, we do the same sort of workout, um, so it works out really well. Um, I just wanted to ask you guys a question. You know, do you guys train by yourself? Do you guys train with a group? What do you guys prefer? Because generally, when I was training in uh, Master and so my hometown in New Zealand, um, I was training pretty much by myself. But there was always people around. Um, which was really motivating, it was a great environment. Um, however, at this gym, sort of, if I'm training by myself, um, I tend to find that generally no one else is around. Like if I go in a little bit earlier, then Josh goes in, or if we bo both need to use the Alico gear, um, then that sort of changes from time to time. So I'd just be interested to hear your guys' thoughts on that. Um, so this is me just finishing off. I think this was one of the last sets with 175 kilo. Um, just doing six sets of three here I think it was and um, they all move very well just really getting ready for tomorrow um, that being Tuesday which is competition squat day what's up guys just got out of the bath just had a nice bath to finish off Monday's uh, workout um, had some nice salmon and green beans for dinner what happened basically is the format for these shirts these were that that logo there uh, that was printed on the back and then the Brett Gibbs, the name down there, hope you can see that. Uh, that was printed on the front, so they did it around the wrong way just for that one shirt. Um, but thanks to, the, thanks to the team at Teespring, they actually sent out um, a whole new batch to everyone who did order one. I'm getting a, a few questions like, when am I looking to redo them again? Um, I haven't really decided on a date or anything yet, or which which design, which colours, etc. I want to do. Thanks to everyone who has brought shirts and... Uh, for everyone who does want to buy shirts, just you know, keep watching the channel, keep an eye on my Instagram and my Facebook, and no doubt I'll be um, letting you guys know when 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 I do do that next. And for Tuesday's workout, the one I've actually been dreading a little bit lately, um, it's the only low bar squat day that I have in this uh, program right now. Although coming into week five, I believe uh, me and JP may just change that. We're going to increase it to two low bar days. Um, just to get the skill up coming into the Arnold's but 
the whole idea of the one low bar day was to really just increase overall ba base strength so you, using the front squat using the high bar and just come into the world champs with two low bar days to get that skill right back up and really peak for that but um, we'll, we'll see how it goes uh, after this day you're about to see the squats went great um, warming up I knew that um, the working sets were going to be a lot easier than last week um, even though everything's moved up by five to ten kilos anyway um, so very very happy with how the warm-ups are going uh, shout out to Robert here squatting a good 400 pounds um, repping the team BG shirt and uh, now we had about four other guys in the squat rack tonight so it was good Normally I'm actually in here by myself on a Tuesday, so it was a good uh, change of atmosphere. Um, had a, uh, a good sort of uh, routine going. Um, this was the first set here. This is 245 kilo, um, or 540 pounds. Um, I was really excited for this. I knew it was going to move well. And as you're about to see, absolutely smashed the first rep. And again, good deep breath and nailed the second one as well. So happy with that, how that one went. Probably had about a five minute break or so if that while the other boys did their set and came into the second set here. As you can see, killed the first rep. Now, the second rep, just a little bit sloppy. Um, laughed a little bit there. I almost forgot to push it up. I was looking at something. There was a guy right in my eye, 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 eye line. Um, so I had a bit of a laugh about that. But uh, that was all right. Moved on to some back off sets here. Now, this was uh, five sets of five, I think it was, with... 222.5 kilo, um, but th these all felt very, very good. Um, I actually went off program here just slightly um, because they were moving so well. I did two sets of five, uh, then I did one set of ten, and then I finished off with another another set of five, but the set of ten just absolutely gassed me, but that was good. I felt really good. I was very happy after that session. Now, straight after the squats, um, came straight into Spoto Press. Now this was with 140 kilo, six sets of three, and I was pausing them all at the bottom. So my aim here is to get as close to the chest as I can, not let any of the weight um, touch or sink into my chest at all. Um, and these all moved very, very well. I think I even finished the last set, which is coming up here, um, with a set of six. Um, just to get more volume in again, um, JP's probably not going to be happy about that. But sometimes I like to use my intuitive training um, to my advantage. If I'm feeling a little bit better, I might chuck a couple more reps on the end of uh, some of the sets that I'll need to do or some of the reps that I'm supposed to be doing. So very happy with that before moving on to the next workout on Wednesday. It's Wednesday now. We've got heavy bench day. Uh, me and Josh are training together. Josh is doing some slingshot work. Um, I'm working up to 175 kgs, um, so finally starting to get a little bit more weight on the bar. Uh, had an awesome squat session yesterday, as you can see. Um, the best I've felt for a long time well, since I did that 300 kg squat. Um, volume was good. Legs are a little bit sore today, so pretty excited to get in and get the job done. Have some oatmeal right now as my pre-workout meal, along with some chocolate milk, and then we're going to get in and smash it. Here it is. Some Quaker, high protein, maple and brown sugar. It's actually not bad. Just waiting for the jug to boil. Mucked it. Done. And to finish it off, a glass of milk. Oh, chocolate milk. Today's been just going to be very easy now. Wednesday's workout, competition bench press day. Very excited about this day coming into it. Um, so we got to the gym at 3.30. There was three of us training. So myself, Josh, and Steve Campbell. We always train together on a Monday, generally, and a Wednesday, which is good. It's good to have a bit of a crew there. Um, Campbell and Josh were hitting some slingshot work. And uh, I came into the gym, I forgot my keys for my locker, so I had my wrist straps, I had my elbow sleeves, I had my uh, squat shoes, which I have a heel on them, um, which I bench in. So I forgot all of that, so I was a little bit disappointed, so I had to get through the whole workout uh, with no wrist straps, which can make things a little bit harder, And I, as I found out today. Um, but I knew that it obviously wasn't a maxed out day or anything like that, so um, I knew that I was able to go in and still get the work done. 
So I, have, I moved three sets of two with 175 kilo. All felt very good. And then 10 sets of three. So 30 working reps with 162.5 kilo. Again, all moved pretty solid before finishing off the day um, with some stiff-legged deadlifts or some RDLs, um, whatever you want to call them. But I was stopping them on the ground. Now I worked up to this set here, which was uh, actually three sets of this with 180 kilo. Um, now this was getting a little bit more challenging. Um, uh, the form was nowhere near as clean as it was last week. Um, so we'll probably leave it at this um, as far as the weight goes. That's it for today's video. Be back on Saturday afternoon where I release uh, the second part of week four. Um, a big deadlift session coming up on Saturday. Really excited for that. Um, as well as my birthday on Friday. Going out for some winging it um, with some of the boys. Might have a couple of beers, you know. Turning 25. Um, it's going to be a good week. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.